morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Red Couch live here at Hanover Fair 2014. My name is Kilian Müller. I'm CEO of Publish Industry Group, an important German publishing company with several trade magazines on leading technologies. ZWI iBooth is hosting the Red Couch this year. During the whole Hanover Fair, we talk to important industry leaders about fascinating key topics. Right now, I would like to welcome Ms. Judy Reinke, Deputy Director General of the U.S. and Foreign Commercial Service in the U.S. Department of Commerce. We will talk about connecting industries, improved business activities between the United States and Europe. Hello, Hi. Judy. Hi, Killian. Hi. Judy, can you please shortly describe your role and that of your organization for our visitors? Sure. Um, Killian, first of all, thank you very much for inviting me to be here on behalf of uh, the USA delegation here at Hanover Fair. It's a wonderful opportunity to be here among the leaders of industry. Uh, it, it's a European platform, it's a global platform, and the USA is glad to be a part of it. Uh, as for me, I represent the US Department of Commerce's international portfolio, international trade and investment. Uh, we have primarily as our role to promote US exports globally uh, to assist American companies when they are handling um, uh, trade barriers, trade issues. Mm -hmm. And um, most recently, we've been spending a lot of time on the attraction of investment into the United States as the U.S. has really reemerged as a manufacturing platform. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it your first time here at Hanover Fair? Um, not exactly. Oh. Um, I had a chance well, almost 15 years ago to visit uh, a neighboring fair, which is Seabit. Uh -huh. uh, I had a chance at that point to see the Mesa Galenda, mm -hmm. uh, the trade fair property, which is huge. And uh, now that I see it filled with the Hanover Fair, I can see that uh, nothing has changed. It's only grown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hanover is uh, really a leading platform on technology. Um, why is your organization having a presence at the show? Well, um, because the uh, program that I represent called the U.S. and Foreign Commercial Service, the diplomatic core of the U.S. Uh, government's uh, trade promotion arm, the, r the goal is to be where U.S. business is. And if U.S. business is coming to Hanover Fair, we want to be here too to support the American companies, mm -hmm. to ensure that business relationships are made, uh, as we say, uh, Geschäftsbeziehungen, ah, right? How am I doing? German. Very good. Absolutely yeah, perfect. So we're working, Thank you. we're working on really deepening mm -hmm. uh, the opportunities. Now, obviously, companies can make their own business decisions, but often the convening platform of a, of a fair like Hanover mm -hmm. or um, our own hall, Hall 13, in which we're uh, promoting uh, the U.S. as an investment destination can support the American firms and the American economic development organizations that are using Hanover as this, this platform, this Buna. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, give us a little insight, what are the highlights of your organization's presence this year? Uh, let's see, this year we have about 70 American companies ex exhibiting across mm -hmm. the uh, uh, show. Uh, I think that's a solid number. I'd love to see it bigger. I'm sure uh, those companies looking for American partners would also like to see it bigger. But uh, importantly, we do have this investment attraction uh, uh, program uh, based in Hall 13 and a global forum attached to it to uh, describe the U.S. investment uh, opportunities. The 17 different uh, states, cities, and regions that are exhibiting uh, at our booth mm -hmm. in, at D11, I can tell mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. in Hall 13, uh, really would love very much to talk to any company that are, uh, is interested in understanding why the United States makes sense as in, an investment platform. Um, I would say the U.S. is open for business like it had never been before mm -hmm. uh, in, a, in decades. Uh, with the reemergence of um, uh, the manufacturing sector, based largely on high productivity of our workforce, um, uh, lower cost of energy, uh, yeah, huge sources of energy, natural gas for manufacturing feedstocks. Uh, it's creating a, a, an exciting environment, and it's time for, I think, a lot of uh, the manufacturing companies of Europe to, to take a little look at the United States mm -hmm. again. 
maybe become a little more detailed. In which industries do you see opportunities uh, for German investors? Well, already we have a lot of German investors. In fact, Germany uh, represents the third largest in, uh, source of investment into the United States. Uh, a lot of the opportunities are in, like I just mentioned, energy. Energy is a, uh, an exciting area of growth. Uh, and given that this is the, man, uh, the uh, Hanover Indus Industriemesse, I have to say uh, traditional uh, machining manufacturing uh, is, a, is a very uh, promising area. Um, uh, automotive parts and components. We have a lot of uh, European, uh, beziehungsweise German, uh, <laughs> investors in the automotive sector in the US. Um, and then when you get outside of the industri industry, Gebiet, we have um, a lot of biotech, um, yeah. medical devices. Mm -hmm. Let me just say, if a company is curious about what America means for the manufacturing sector, uh, come by our hall and we'll try to get drill down and get some details okay. to anyone who wants to visit. Okay. We do that. We understand that the U.S. government hosted a, a major select USA mm. investment summit last mm. fall, especially to encourage new investment in the United States. Uh, how did it go, the event? Uh, was there a strong German company presence at the summit? Or I'm so glad you asked about that. Thank you, Killian. Uh, we're very proud of the fact that last uh, October, uh, at the initiative of President Obama. I yeah. mean, this was, this was not something that happened by chance. Okay. We hosted a major investment summit in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. uh, Select USA is the name of our brand new program designed to attract investment uh, into the United States. So this is Select USA summit attracted 1,300 uh, uh, attendees, uh, more than half of them from international, uh, were international investors. Uh, and the real ob objective was to bring those investors to meet with the economic development organizations throughout the United States. We had 48 U.S. states. We have a total of 50. So 48 of 50 states. Um, Puerto Rico, which is one of our territories, the District of Columbia, and many, many sub-regions represented. And real business was done on the floor. It's almost as exciting, I'd say, as the Hanover Mesa itself. Uh, okay. Uh, it's we had 5,000 exhibitors here. Well, I said almost Just to as give exciting. The <laughs> almost as exciting. And, and for us, it was really quite an important yeah. um, step forward uh, to let really every international visitor from uh, the 60 countries that showed interest, we let them know that America's open for business mm -hmm. like it had never been before. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it was a warm welcome, and we do hope that companies that ex uh, visit an event like that uh, stay and invest and explore mm -hmm. the opportunities for investing. Mm -hmm. And looking in the future, are there any major Select USA activities this mm -hmm. year or next year, either here in Germany or in the United States? And that might be interesting for the German yeah, investors. Yeah. So as what's well? next? That's a, I mean, perfect question. Yeah. I mean, what's next? Obviously, this right now, Hanover Mesa is a, is the first what's next, which is our uh, major participation in Hall 13. Uh, what's next might be uh, our next industry uh, investment attraction program, which will be at the trade show called Auto Mechanica. I think you've heard of. Oh, yeah. uh, it's at a different in a different trade show, so we won't go in, into details. But similarly, attracting mm -hmm. investment into the U.S. Uh, in the U.S., the next thing may be another summit. Mm -hmm. We are looking at next year as an opportunity. It's not yet publicly, uh, a date has not been publicly announced, but... Um, 2015, 2015 then? 2015 yeah. may well be the chance for another major opportunity. Let me say between now and then, any time is a good time to visit the USA, okay. e either as a tourist mm -hmm. or potential investor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was there last year as a tourist, excellent. and it was excellent. <laughs> so I, I can do a little tourist advertisement right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. I hope people consider you know, that as an opportunity to, to see the USA in a way yeah. that they had not seen it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can recommend that. Uh, what are your expectations for the current uh, negotiations on the uh, transatlantic um, trade and investment partnership, the TTIP, ah. uh, between Europe mm -hmm. and North America? Yeah, that's actually a really important topic. Yes. Uh, I had the opportunity just last night to participate in the opening seat ceremonies of um, the Hanover Mesa, which was very uh, exciting. You know, it was um, yeah. uh, probably one of the most stimulating opening ceremonies yeah, I've ever right. seen. And several of the major speakers made reference to the fact that this uh, Handels und Investitionsabkommen, right. uh, which in Germany we call, it's a little more difficult, which we call trade and, uh, trade and investment uh, partnership, transatlantic yes. trade and investment partnership. Um, that is an important next step for our relationship. Um, the U.S., if you, if you combine the economies of the U.S. with the 28 countries that make up the European Union, that is, uh, accounts for 50% of the gross domestic product of the world, 50%. So 
this is a huge opportunity to bring 800 million people, consumers, manufacturers, together under one umbrella. Uh, the goal is a high quality, um, high standard agreement that will not only deepen our economies, but will make trade and, uh, trade and investment easier. And the focus, if you ask me, isn't on the big players. It's really on the small and medium-sized mm -hmm. companies. Uh, it's already easy to do business in Germany or in the EU. Likewise, I, I would say in the US. But those remaining barriers, those remaining small tariffs, really, uh, if they are eliminated, even small businesses will find transatlantic business as easy as uh, as it is in their home market. Mm -hmm. So that's the goal, really deepen and, and improve the relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, besides the trade aspect, is it also important that we share s several values well, we between do Europe and the US? Culturally, we do share a lot of values. And I think among the values we share are um, a, 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 an interest in transparency, uh, fairness, uh, uh, consistency, um, and protection of intellectual property rights, mm -hmm. things that businesses care about. If you do business in, in Europe, you'll know that the U.S. has similar values, right. which even if the regulations are somewhat different or the standards are different, you'll know at least fundamentally we care about the same uh, business values and cultures. With this agreement, one hopes that those remaining regulatory and, and standards uh, uneven uh, uneven barriers can be minimized. So high high cultural values and low barriers. Mm -hmm. What a great what a great outcome. Would be great. When do you expect it to be signed? Ah, yeah. Without my so-called crystal ball, I can't tell ah, you. Uh, okay. I, we are just completing the fourth round of negotiating. Mm -hmm. I would like to see uh, within the next um, short term. Mm -hmm. uh, a coming to conclusion on the text, mm -hmm. the negotiating text. That's why you have negotiators to get down to the very yes. detailed uh, uh, um, basis, and then yeah. you have the political, uh, the political process of affirm affirming mm -hmm. what the negotiators mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. done. So it's a technical process. I'm not a technical negotiator, but I see uh, great progress yeah. going quite fast. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this, this was the Red Couch VIP talk about connecting industries, improve business activities between the United States and Europe, live from the ZWEI booth at Hanover Fair 2014. Dear Judy, thank you very much for being our guest today on the Red Couch. Thank you very much, Killian. <laughs> I really enjoy the fact that I'm able to talk to so many visitors who are here at Hanover Messe, as I am, uh, seeing what a wonderful experience this is for business to do business. Very good. Thank you very much for watching and listening. We wish you a successful trade fair, and if you're interested, you can find this interview and all other Red Couch VIP talks on Publish Industries YouTube channel. Thanks again, Judy. Thank you. And a good time here. Thank you. Thank I will. you. Thank you very much.